Hello, you're watching Telecom TV. I'm Martin Warwick. We're reporting from Barcelona, uh, Mobile World Congress 2018. We're on the HPE booth. Booth's a small word for what's something really quite big. It's got half a space station on it. And I'm talking with Michael Kagan, who is the CTO of Mellanox Technologies. Michael, welcome. Let's begin with this. Thank you. What are the top opportunities and challenges facing CSB's digital transformation journey right now? So there are two, two big things out there. A lot, lot more data is being generated, so you need much higher bandwidth to move the data and much lower latency while moving the data. That's one thing, a challenge. The opportunity is to do something useful with, it, with this data, basically making a services out there. Can we move on and talk about NFV for a while, please? Um, five years old now from concept to limited deployment in some places, but the deployments are gaining momentum as the focus of simplicity, manageability, and performance continues to be the priority for CSPs. What's your approach and Mellanox to infrastructure transformation? Okay, so what our role is, we are the network company, we are interconnect company. So our role and our job is to deliver the connectivity between the services on the different <coughs> nodes on the machine. So we are delivering the highest performance interconnect that takes care about all the network functionality. So stuff that is running on the standard processors can just focus on the application and the services to the consumers. Michael, the importance of being customer-centric is becoming even more and more prominent in the telecoms industry now. What actions are you seeing CSPs take to make their networks more subscriber, more, cons more, more customer and consumer centric? Yeah, that's actually the great question because it is, goes right to the heart of the network function virtualization. The reason and the, the true reason of running these things on the standard equipment, like standard servers versus on the uh, custom built machines, is to enable third party services or more services to be done on these machines. So the CSPs are actually becoming the service providers. If you look at the data center architecture, it's not, it's not only in the big data centers like you know Facebook, Google, Amazon or whatever. It's actually going to be instantiated to the points of presence and actually all the way to the car. So the data center architecture is everywhere. So you need to be able to run services and provide the platform to third party run to run the services and that's what CSP is moving to. What new services and use cases which you mentioned briefly there, elaborate a bit more on that, what are you seeing CSPs prioritize as they move forward over the next few years? Well, the, the basic thing is basically processing the data, it's artificial intelligence, it's making more and more decisions closer to the data source, you know if you look at the uh, smart cities or autonomous cars or everything else is basically driving the decision back close to the point of data generated on one hand. On the other hand, this data collection and transferring the data to the big data centers where you can uh, improve and uh, you know, basically train more the neural networks or artificial intelligence engines that are actually driving these access points. Thank you. Final question. Mellanox and HP have been working together for some time now to accelerate the CSP digital transformation. How are you working together and what's the experience like? Oh, HP is one of our biggest customers and we work with HP for a long time. Uh, you mentioned before that NFV started a few years ago and now it's uh, getting the momentum. The reason it took uh, quite some time to develop both hardware and software infrastructure and software capabilities to take advantage of uh, standard standard process, standard processor, standard servers in the NFV. So we are working with the HP very closely, actually on the more than just uh, NFV. Uh, from high performance computing, uh, data centers, and the NFV is, from my perspective, is just yet another instance of the data center. Okay, Michael Kagan, thank you very much indeed. Thank you very much.